everybody, it's Robin Rosa Steele at the Kent Emporium, and welcome to the February Full Moon Sound Bath. Now, I always love full moons. I don't know about you, but I find myself um, not sleeping as much, staying up, watching more TV. I just don't need as much sleep, which is kind of fun, but then it catches up to me after the full moon. But anyway, I'd like to talk a little bit about the full moon, and I'd like you to reflect back on last month's full moon, and did you let anything go? I can tell you about myself. I decided to... Um, let go of needing a plan. Um, and as a result, new things came in, things I didn't really think about. I started an Oracle deck last year that I kind of put on the back burner. And now I have space for that by just not having a plan. I decided to do it in Zentangle, which would be kind of fun doing my own artwork on the cards. So I'm really excited about that. Also, uh, another book idea has come out, so I'm going to play with it for the next month and just see where it goes. Instead of having a plan, I'm just going to play and see where this goes, right? And a great example of not having a plan, as I always refer to um, my second floor um, um, bird feeder, um, it really started during COVID. It was an old air conditioner that we have yet to kind of figure out how to get out without doing some major damage. Um, anyway, so my friend built a box around it and I decided during COVID, since my office sits right there, as I turned it into a second floor bird feeder. My cats can watch the birds eat, but my cats can't get to them. And as a result of this, just, you know, you know, one step in front of the other with no plan. I started putting out bird seed, right? And the birds come. Well, last year I had a flower bed that turned into an array of sunflowers. It was totally unplanned and it was looked beautiful, right? So this is all about not planning. Like, you know, instead of having to plan, it, plan every moment, I just did one step. I fed the birds, created a bird feeder, fed the birds. And next thing I know, I had this beautiful sunflower patch that was just stunning, right? So that's, what it's about, about not making a plan about everything, having to um, continually have a plan. I know culturally we're raised to, we must have a plan. You know, at 18, you must go to college. After college, you must get a, have a career. You must climb the corporate ladder, marry, get 2.5 kids, you know, the, buy a house, except get the picket fence, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So what if you just, so that was what I did last month. And just by letting go of that whole plan, that whole concept, what we've been told culturally and just kind of playing with it, new things open up and that's what the full moon is all about. For me this month, I've decided I'm going to let go of worry. I found during COVID, worry has come back into my life and I really don't like it. It's really time consuming. It's a waste of time. So I'm just going to let go of worry and see what opens up, what space physically, mentally, spiritually opens up as a result of just stopping worrying because it's just a waste of time. Something to think about as we do our sound bath, kind of like what happened to you since the last full moon if you released something or what would you like to release this time around? So we'll start with three deep breaths. I'll get you a little grounded and then we'll do a nice sound bath. So let's take a deep breath in. Hold. Exhale. Take a deep breath in. Hold. Exhale. And one more time, a deep breath in, hold, and exhale. And I'd like you just to like notice your feet on the floor. And just notice that your feet are grounded into the earth, into the roots of the ground. How does that make you feel? Just notice. As we take a deep breath in ah, and exhale through the bottoms of our feet, any stress. And let's go up to our hips. And how are our hips today? Do they ache? As you lay down, sit down, are you leaning more to one side or the other side? Just notice. And notice if that indicates that you're a little off balance and maybe you need to realign. And notice how your hips are connected to your feet and the earth. Take a deep breath in. Hold. Exhale. Now let's go to your heart. And how's your heart today? The full moon is all about letting go can be about death, 
So there could be a little grief and sorrow, and that's okay. Because by letting go and grieving, you're making space for new possibilities. So just honor whatever emotions are in your heart today. And notice how those emotions are connected to your hips. And just release them down to the earth for Mother Earth to regenerate. Take a deep breath in. Hold. Exhale. Now let's go to your forehead. And how is your forehead today? Your thoughts, right? In the past, present, or future. And if your thoughts are in the past, I'm going to have to ask you a question. And the question is, are you thinking about the past because you're trying to gather wisdom from it? Or are you picking it like an old wound, like an old scab, and you just won't let the wound heal? Which is it? Are you seeking wisdom in when you look in the past? Or are you just picking at an old wound, an old scab, and just beating yourself up? Take a deep breath in. Hold. Exhale. And just get your thoughts back to the present, to now. This is where the magic is, right now. As you listen to the sound of the singing bowl, and how it connects you to the present and how it connects your heart to the present, your feet to the present, and your body to the earth to the present. Take a deep breath in, hold, exhale. Now let's go up to the top of your head. Imagine a gold beam of light. Imagine this light just shining down on you and going wherever it needs to in your body to release some stuck energy. Just connect to that gold ball of light and just let it just pinpoint where in your body you need healing. Whether it's spiritually, mentally, physically, all three, just let that beam of light just pinpoint Take a deep breath in, hold, and just let that just go down your body, down to the bottoms of your feet for the earth to recycle. One more time, just let that gold beam of light shine wherever it needs to shine, some healing in your body, mentally, physically, emotionally. When you're ready, just exhale. Just let it release through your body, down through your feet, and let the earth recycle it into little hearts. I always like to imagine when I release energy, I'm just letting it go down to the earth, and then little hearts come up from the earth to send love everywhere. Isn't that a nice visual? So let's just get grounded now as we start the sound bath. Relax. I'll let you know when it's time to return.
start to wiggle your toes and your fingers. Sway your body from side to side as you slowly start to wake up. Wiggle. Move your head, your ribs, your shoulders. Just slowly start to wake up and sit up. And just scan your body for a minute and just see how it's feeling now. Is it feeling a little lighter, a little airier, a little more relaxed? And we'll end our little sound bath with three deep breaths. We'll breathe in, hold, exhale. Breathe in, hold, exhale. And one more time, breathe in, hold, I'd like to thank you for joining me today. Grace joined me for a little bit. Obviously, I need to get a bigger rug just so she can sit here. She loves sound baths. She is like a sound bath junkie. Anyway, <laughs> hope you have a great full moon, and I'd love to hear what you're releasing so you can make space for something more fun to come into your life. Anyway, have a great rest of the week.